Hello, everyone. With you from NFL Live, Wendy Nux, Adam Schefter, Mike Tenenbaum, Coach John Fox. Listen, far be it from us to say it's Eli Manning's last hurrah, but it's got to end sometime. The Giants have drafted a quarterback. Let's say it is, Coach, and look in the foreseeable future. What are your immediate expectations for what this season might hold for Eli Manning? Well, I think it's kind of looks a little dimmer now with the things that have happened at the wide receiver position. And again, a quarterback can't do it on his own. Yeah, I watched Troy Aikman go 1-15 in, in his rookie year. But then in time, when they got him a supporting cast, obviously he had a Hall of Fame career. Uh, Eli, I think, can have a Hall of Fame career. A lot of it's going to be depending on how he ends up. And uh, right now, it's off to a slow start this season. Some tough breaks for the Giants already, Mike. Yeah, it's really a balancing act, too, for Pat Sherman because – he has to manage his locker room as well. So if they get off to a good start, right. Eli needs to keep playing. You know, you don't want to develop yeah. Daniel Jones for the next coaching staff. So I think Pat Shermer and how he balances this is going to be really interesting to watch. I think the offense, as Coach alluded to, given the injuries at wide receiver, will be a little bit more of a run-based offense early. But if, he, if they're winning, Eli needs to keep playing yeah. because if they would pull him for Daniel Jones – there's going to be a lot of veterans who will be very upset. And I think Eli controls his fate. And I don't think they have any plans to go to Daniel Jones right now. Again, if they are winning football games, if they are making a playoff push, if they are remaining competitive, Eli Manning gets to keep the job and bid to come back for next year. Right. If not, if he struggles and they're losing and it becomes a hopeless, hapless situation in New York, then everybody's going to want to see Daniel Jones. And it's going to mean that we could be seeing the end of Eli with the Giants. Jeffy, here's the question there. There's a lot of real estate between succeeding and then also massively struggling. What about that in between? How, 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 good does Eli, how good does Eli have to be and play to keep this job? He has to play like Eli. As long as he's playing like Eli and they're remaining competitive, he gets to keep the job. Yeah, when he, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, to, to that point, I would say that it's not, not how he's playing in as much as if they're winning yeah. because yeah. he has the respect of a lot of the veterans there. So if they're winning, now again, early on, it may be 10-6, it may be 13-7, but if they're winning, Eli's earned the respect of that locker room. I think it's really hard to pull a quarterback that's won Super Bowls in that city with that team, even if he's not playing great. With what he's been through already, too, where they benched him once before, only to yeah. have him go back into the starting line. No you don't do that to that guy. Right, no question. So if they're sitting there 6-5, and 7-6, and six, and they're still in a playoff hunt, I think Daniel Jones continues to sit. And look, on a positive note, you know, I've talked about the negativity at the start as far as wide receivers, but I do think their offensive line has gotten better. I think they've addressed that in the offseason, and that will help Eli tremendously. So, look, if the offensive line is better, mm -hmm. Sterling she she Shepard is expected to be back to the back. opener. Yep. Saquon is an all-world running back. Evan Ingram's a really good tight end. So, even though he has taken hits, who has he really lost? He lost Corey Coleman, who I don't think they were counting on. Right. And Golden Tate's still fighting to stave off that four-game suspension that I think a lot of people agree He's going to have a tough time winning. Yeah. It's four games. I mean, there's yeah, still he'll you be know, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there, there's a lot of ways to win a game. So, again, I think early on we'll see the run game be a much more a bigger emphasis. We, no one here has a crystal ball, and we understand what the situation will look like if we do see Daniel Jones. It will mean that the Giants aren't winning. Will we see Daniel Jones this season? Mm. You know, I've got a lot of confidence in Eli, and I think, you know, with some of the things, as long as everything kind of goes better at the wide receiver position moving forward, I, I, I like Eli's chances. Okay. I think Dwayne Haskins has a chance to be on the field faster than Daniel Jones. Oh, okay. I, I would Haskins agree. I would Washington, agree with you. Huh? Yep. Why do you say yeah. that? Just think, given the dynamics of the respective situations, that, again, if the Giants are playing well, I think he stays on. I think if Washington struggles early, look for a quick change. If Keenum or Colt McCoy win the job, Washington doesn't have a Super Bowl winning quarterback ahead of the first round draft. That's exactly right. No, which is the case we find with the New York football Giants. Whatever happens, we'll be watching and talking and dissecting on NFL Live weekdays, 1.30 Eastern. Everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.